3.30. So, and then freaking traffic, because everyone wants to go see the sun shut off for like three minutes, which is just ridiculous. And then we get stuff unpacked, and it's heavy stuff, and I only have this truck for one more day. It's been a day. Our vlog is not ready. <laughs> it's gonna be tomorrow that I'll post it. That's all we can do. Well. See you at home. Please don't die. That's right. Don't die of anger. <laughs> Poor guy. He's had a day. Look how pretty it is here though. Utah is really beautiful, especially in the fall. I'm gonna cry. I'm just gonna cry. It's been a day. <sighs> well, now the window won't go up again. Danny's gonna be so pissed. Hi, it's been a day. Um, today, I worked for hmm, four or five hours this morning trying to edit the vlog of me being in the movie with Danny and everything. Um, and uh, couldn't finish it in time before I had to go to another doctor's appointment. So I go to the doctor's appointment and I'm like, I'll just upload it when I get home. I'll finish when I get home, not a big deal. So I go to the doctor and then I was like, maybe I should stop at Walmart on the way home. So I stopped at Walmart, get out to my car, load up my car. And I freaking, I'm so stupid. I, so I, when I unloaded my car, I put like, I just threw my purse in the car cause I usually do that. Um, and I usually park like close to a cart return if I can for obvious reasons because I'm just sick but anyway um but this one I didn't I forgot to and so it was really far away and I just wasn't thinking and I just threw my bag in the car with the keys in it my phone was in it and as I was walking the cart back I remembered our car automatically locks after like if it's off and you shut all the doors and you walk away, it'll lock within like 10 seconds. So I like bolt back to the car and bear like I even heard it lock. Like I barely, barely got there, not in time. So I was locked out. So then I had no phone, I had no keys, I had nothing. So I had to, I'm at Taco Bell by the way, because we deserve Taco Bell because it's been a day for both of us. So I might have to put you down for a minute. In my next maybe not apparently Danny's had a really horrible day too and like everything has been going wrong for him but luckily there were some really nice teenage boys in the parking lot decorating their car with like a like Halloween decorations for their car it was really freaking cute actually I wish I could have vlogged them because they were so nice and they let me use their phone and they also helped me call for help and we couldn't find anybody to come help and luckily I just was able to get a hold of Danny finally and he, I told the boys to go because he would just come and meet me at Walmart and get my, and bring the spare key, but I had to wait at Walmart for a while. And all of this, I'm going off of like two or three hours of sleep, if that. Um, I had a really rough night physically. Um, hold on, I'm next, I'll talk to you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Put the right out. Thanks. I'm gonna drink some of Danny's Dr. Pepper, just because I can. Have a great day. Thank you, Dare, you too. Go up all the way, please go up all the way. <gasps> Tricked me, what a dick. Anyway, my house is like right there, by the way, just so you know, I'm just like trying through the parking lot. I'm being very careful, I'm not looking at you, don't worry. Anyway, um, I'm afraid I'm going to lose energy if I don't tell you now. Like, it's just been a day. It's just been a day. Very stressful morning for me because I didn't sleep. And when I don't sleep, um, 
this is why I'm sometimes like, you know what, maybe it just wasn't in the cards for me to have kids for other reasons too, such as I don't do well if I don't sleep. Um, and I only slept for like two or three hours and my body woke me up because it was in a lot of pain. And I tried my damnedest to get back to sleep all morning. I tried all morning, it just wouldn't work. So then I tried editing for an hour and then tried sleeping for half an hour and it couldn't get to sleep. So then I would edit some more and blah, blah, blah. And that happened over and over for like six hours. And then it was finally time for my doctor when, oh, I already told you all this. See, this, I, I'm a mess. I'm exhausted and I have nothing left in me. My body is shot. It was already shot before I left. Um, and so it's been, a, it's been a long day and I'm very tired. It's 6 p.m. and I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Maybe I'll talk to you while I eat a taco actually inside. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, let's do a Taco Bell haul. Um, I got some cinnamon twists because duh. I got two Crunchy Taco Supremes because that's what I like. And then Danny got a Crunchy Taco Supreme and a Burrito Supreme. So I'll save those for him. So welcome to my Taco Bell mukbang. I don't know what to talk about, but I feel bad because I have no other footage for you today. <gasps> no, what, someone asked a question that I can answer, I guess. So maybe I'll do that. So we're going to do a little mukbang. Wait, do people like not edit themselves eating? So like, do I just eat and you just wait for me to finish eating until I talk again? Is that awkward? Well, we're going to see. I'm too tired to pick that up. Um, so maybe I'll just like dip into it with like make like a chip situation where I can just kind of dip into it. Maybe that could work. I don't eat all day. I plan to come right back home after my appointment and eat. Okay, so somebody asked if we've been like thinking about getting a cat or a dog, I've answered this in the past, but I haven't talked about it in a while. And it's funny that you ask because I have been obsessed lately with the thought of getting a cat. I've wanted a cat for a very long time. However, the past month literally just the pet that's really spicy what is in that i have been obsessed over trying to get a cat here's the problem danny's not a cat person that's not the problem he still will let me get one he wants me to have one but i can't have one for many reasons number one I'm allergic to cats, which means I would have to get, I grew up with cats and I don't remember being allergic to them. Um, I developed it definitely when I was like an adult, I developed an allergic aller allergy to cats. So I'm allergic to cats, which means I'd have to either get a hairless cat or there's one, what is that? There's one cat out there that has hair, the typoallergenic. What's happening? Get out of my hair. And it's called like a Russian gray or Russian blue, one of those. They're super cute. They're very expensive, They're like hundreds of dollars. <sighs> However, the other issue is we're not allowed to have pets here, but some of you have told me recently, what if you made it like an emotional support animal, which is true. It, this, like that would be what it was for. Um, I don't know. So we're kind of thinking about it. The other issue that Danny's having, this is the messiest talk about ever. Danny is really worried about the birds and he should be because if we happen to like leave the house and forget to 
closed the door to the bird cage and then the cat got in there and knocked over the cage and eats the birds, that would obviously not be very good. So there's that problem too. I don't even know the last time I ate on camera. It's so awkward. I don't remember the last time I did a mukbang. I forgot how awkward it is. Oh, big bite. I'm so dumb. I should have talked about this. This is what I could have talked about. Somebody asked, asked um, cause I posted my last vlog yesterday, I think saying that um, Danny and I are gonna be in a movie, which is true. Um, so the question was, have we ever been in a movie before? Danny has, this is my film debut and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. It went really well. I'll tell you about it in a second. Um, and then you'll see it tomorrow, but I'm gonna like tell you about it ahead of time and then you'll see it tomorrow. I just decided to do that. But Danny sat in as an extra a couple times, two or three times, I think. Um, there was one time he had to play like a creepy guy at the bar that like tries to hit on the main girl or something like that. So he's done that. And I don't know what the other ones are, but I know he's done it a couple other times. Um, this time he, uh, come to find out in editing, by the way, uh, Paul got like a tiny bit of footage of him doing his scene in this current movie. Um, it's literally like 30 seconds of footage and that's it. So sorry about that. But he played like a ranch hand in the background and um, he did, that's about it. My character um, is, you know, I you guys have heard about my character, right? Did I put that in? I don't know if I put it in. So I'll just like tell you real quickly. Um, my character, her name was Victoria because I had to come up with a character. I know I technically don't have lines, but that doesn't mean I'm not the star of the show. You know what I mean? So like, I got to like get, get it in there. Anyway, so my character that I came up with, her name is Victoria, but it won't stay that way for long because Victoria lived in New York City. She was this high power lawyer. She made $4 million a year. She was married to a really abusive husband. So she's like, you know what? I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna change my identity and change my name. I'm gonna dye my hair. I'm gonna move to Texas and find a small town that I can live in and fall in love with a cowboy and meet some real friends. And so that's what she did. So she left, she went to Texas and she found a really small town. And she was like, you know what? And she had like, $12 million saved in her bank account at this time, by the way. She's like, you know what? Ugh. I'm not going to tell anybody in town, excuse me, that I have $12 million in the bank. I'm going to make friends first and see who's my real friend. And then once they become my real friend and I find my new true love, then I'm going to like pay off their mortgages and send their kids to college and all the things, you know? But she's like, but I really want to find out who's, who's going to be like a true friend. So that's what she does. So she comes and one of her true friends that she makes is the main character. Even though the scene that I'm in, the main character is told to ignore me. So it didn't really work out how I thought it would. However, one thing did work out that I'm going to tell you ahead of time that you will not see and I will not even see until the movie comes out, which was the very last scene that we filmed. So, but she was supposed to find love, right? Who do you think that she found to love? That's right, Danny's character. Oh, oh, oh. isn't that just perfect? So anyway, um, so at the end of the shoot, it actually kind of ended up coming true, like the story that I had created for her kind of actually ended up coming true in the end. It was really cool. So I'm going to tell you this story real quick. Um, and then I'm going to go to sleep because I'm exhausted. But um, at the very end of the shoot, they did like a, like it was, you're going to see tomorrow. It was like a fall festival dance, like with carnival games and stuff like that. Um, and for most of the scenes, like most of the night, they just had us be in the background being silent, but like pretending to talk to each other because that's how it works on set. 
But then at the very, very end, and this was like their last scene that they were shooting and they're wrapped after this, like that, this was the very, very last scene. And I'm told that this will be right in the movie. So look out for it when it comes out. Um, we were told to just kind of like dance, act, act like we were dancing around and talking and we could talk out loud because he was just trying to get footage of the actual party instead of us needing to be quiet so that the main characters could be heard and blah, blah, blah. Um, so it was that last scene. Everyone was exhausted and it was the end of the night. It was the end of the shoot for them. And I was just uh, talking to my, my niece, Sierra, stood in with me and she was kind of my partner on in the movie. She's in the movie too and she's so cute. You'll see that too. Um, cause she was there helping Danny with, uh, set stuff. Danny hired her. So she did a really good job. You're going to see it tomorrow. It's freaking gorgeous. I, I cannot believe the set they made. It was freaking stunning. Anyway, so we're dancing around and I see the camera come right up to my face and I'm like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? And so I'm just like trying, trying to act and trying to act natural. And all of a sudden I get this tap on my shoulder and I turn around and as I turn, Danny just smacks me, like kisses me on the lips, just right out of nowhere. And it was the most magical Twitter painting. I got the biggest butterflies I've gotten since like the day he proposed to me or something. Well, maybe not, but like in a long time. And I was like, this is so romantic. Cause like I wasn't expecting it. And apparently the director was filming and saw me dancing. And he's like, and he pulled Danny aside. He's like, Dan, Go put on a cowboy, cowboy, go put on a cowboy hat and go in there and kiss your wife. And I didn't know what was going to happen. So it was like kind of like a surprise. And so it was like, I don't know. It just was weird because I didn't even know who it was at first. It just took me such a, I wasn't expecting him to be there because I was expecting him to be behind the camera. And it just took me off guard that he tapped my shoulder and right as I turned around, he kissed me at first. I didn't know who it was that was kissing me. <laughs> and then I like quickly obviously figured out. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. And so, um, and then he asked me to dance. And so I handed my cut to Sierra and started dancing with him. And I'm told that that's going to be in the movie. So look out for that. Um, because it was really, it, I hope they use it. They might not because it was awkward. However, they might because it was a very authentic reaction because I wasn't expecting it at all. So it was like super duper cute. So we should be in that last uh that little scenario that I told you should be in that last little scene of this movie and then I am also in the last scene of the movie a lot so look for me because the camera uh tended to I tend I tended to tend I tend to be I tended to be I don't know but I was around the camera a lot or the camera was around me a lot so I know that I'm going to be in the background a lot on that last scene so we'll let you know when the movie comes out it'll probably be in the spring i'm guessing um is you is what paul said he thinks it's just gonna take you know five six months or so to get it ready and up and going and it'll probably be on like hallmark or something like that so i'll let you know when it happens but yeah i basically made my movie debut and it was really great and I'm just like been waiting for a call from Hollywood ever since because I know that there were like secret scouts there right that were there to scout me out because obviously <laughs> cause that's what they do so I know that like some of those extras on set I bet you some of them were scouts and they were like looking for the next Julia Roberts and here I am so just waiting for the call should be getting it any day now I'm really famous and I'm a really good actress so um yeah <laughs> no but it was actually so much freaking fun i have not had that much fun in a very long time and i'm gonna do it again um i fell in love with it i i've always loved like the few times that i've gotten to visit danny on set and see what he does because it just fascinates me oh there's danny to know what goes on behind the scenes and so um to be in it this time was like so fun to learn how to be an extra in the background and everything it was so fun so i can't wait for you guys did you see the window of the car Oh, okay. Did you fix it? No, I have the keys. Yeah, I tried fixing. You just gotta go. I kind of had to do it. You just. I did that. Just a little bit of time. Just do, 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 do. I did that. They're yeah. vloggers. Our window's still weird. So no matter what we do, we can go up all the way, and immediately it goes back down. So we've got to like trick it. Just flick it. I don't know, man. 
whatever. Anyway, I forget what I was saying, but we had so much. Oh, I, that's what I was going to say. It really lifted my spirits. It made me have like the best week ever because it was on Tuesday and today's Friday. I've had like a really good, well, mentally, physically, it's been awful this week. But mentally, I've had a really, and I really think it's because of that, because I got out of my comfort zone and I literally almost canceled like 10 minutes before I was leaving to go be in it. And then I was like, I don't know, I just feel like I should do it. And it was hard and I almost passed out. I didn't get that on camera. Sorry, I can't, I don't know when I'm going to pass out or almost pass out. So I didn't get any of that on camera, but I did almost pass out halfway through. So I had to go off set and sit in a chair for a while. So there's a couple scenes where I'm not in it at all because I just had to bow out because I didn't want to pass out because that would be really embarrassing. Um, but it was really fun and I'm pretty sure I can come back and do it again. And I was telling him, I'm like, you know, if, if there's a, if you need extras that just sit there for hours in the background and not stand, because this one was standing the whole time, then let me know and I'll come and just sit there in the background because it was so much fun. I'm really, really proud of myself for that. Do you want to come say anything? Can you tell us about your day? Ooh, Amazon package haul. What do we get from Amazon today? Huh? What do we get from Amazon today? Uh, to start, I got, um, this is not why I ordered, but I guess I'll try it. What is it? This is supposed to be because we're going to I'm going to Bali, right? For a shoot. And they don't have Dr. Pepper there. Or a lot of it. So I figured, hey, I will take some caffeine pills with me to kind of help balance that out, right? Are those good for you? Yeah. I but these are like are. energy and focus cinnamon things. That's just not what I thought I ordered. Powered with natural caffeine, balanced with laethane, infused with vitamin B, vitamins. Okay. So there you go. Cool. And then you got a bunch of stuff in that thing too. Are you eating my burrito that you got me? Mm -mm. Oh, thank you. I was opening it for you because we're doing a mukbang. Oh. oh, yay. This is my favorite capstick. Look at it. What did you call it? What did you call it? Mukbang. Is that how you say it? It's like know. mukbang, mukbang. I don't know. People say it different ways. Oh, mukbang. Mukbang. This is my very favorite chapstick. Lip sm I, I only wear lip smackers. Most chapsticks I find disgusting. And I don't like them. I don't like the way they taste and feel. But lip smack is always good. And this is my favorite. is the cotton candy. So I ordered a bunch of those. And that's what I get. On the way to Bali, it is a 25-hour trip one way and a 30-hour trip Seriously? Back. On a plane? On a plane. On on several planes, actually. One, one, one leg is seven hours. The other one is like 12 hours or some crap like that. So I did some research and I got me a new travel pillow. Apparently this is like really good. So we're going to try this in. Oh yeah, and they're 14 hours ahead of us. So, so this is a little bit more back ergonomic style and then just actually like neck brace yourself in. That looks nice. I think this will work. A good one? And then you can like move it around. Be, oh, okay. Yep. This is already much better than I will sleep on the plane with this. Good. That's a good bye. Good job. Goodbye. Good friend. And oh, this is all my stuff. I'm so sorry. You didn't get much today. What chapstick? Um, the grocery stores over there uh, charge you for a grocery bag. So I'm going to bring one of these reusable grocery bags for my groceries that we're going to buy. What do they charge you? Like 10 cents? Yeah, but it's just easier to bring your And then... There's something over at Bali called water? Bali Belly. Are you gonna drink water? We actually can't drink the water over there unless it's filtered. So they have these really cool filtered water bottles that you pour water in and you squish it down and it filters it for you. Do they not sell bottled water there? They they do, but we we were asked to bring our own just in case as well. So this was actually pretty expensive. But, Did they pay for it? Uh, no, nope, they sure didn't. 
That's okay, because this also goes into the survival kit, 24 or 72 hour kit when we get back. This is for you. What is it? Have you seen these? Oh, cool. You plug that receiver in and then you have two wireless mics that you can just That's hook cool. onto yourself. And it actually, I've read the reviews, they're really freaking good. They sound good. Because we film on our phones because it's the easiest. Yeah. I had a camera once upon a time, remember? Yeah, the beginning of my down, YouTube down, career. Downstairs. Do you use it? Does it work? I'm, I'm sure it works. But you gotta, it's the whole management system of getting the footage off on the card and then uploading it to your iPad, which you can't really do from a card. Fold outable saw, baby. Great. Yeah. What's that for? For sawing stuff. Durr. Where? Anywhere. Because now it's pocketable and foldable, so I don't catch myself on my normal saw. Cool. Pocket saw. Awesome. Can you please eat some burrito? Because you haven't eaten all day. You don't know me. I do know you. I know you very well. Eat your burrito, please. I'm loopy because I'm so tired. Why are you doing this? You I thought know. you were I'm going loopy. to bed. I just thought I would eat and talk to him for a minute, and now it's been 25 minutes almost. <laughs> will you please eat a bite of burrito? Or I something? will, just five seconds. You can play with that later. Me later. Not the day. Not the day. Not the day. Not out the day. I'm sorry. I love you so much. Then eat your damn burrito. I will! <laughs> Don't swear, Shannon. Sorry. What did I say? Damn. Don't swear, Danny. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to make our channel family friendly. Is damn a bad word still? Is it's it. I don't know what I, don't I guess know. it technically still is. I don't know what it is anymore. I still swear. Because I swear the children these days mm -hmm. swear more than I do. <laughs> well, but in our day, the F word was like the worst word. Mm -hmm. And now it's like the new S word. Yeah. It's not as bad, you know? Yeah. So that's why I'm asking, is damn even considered that bad anymore? I don't know. Probably. Can you please eat your burrito because it's a mukbang? So I can go? Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. I ordered these like months ago and they were out of stock and then they finally came in stock back when I thought I was going to be here for Halloween. What so, was your costume going to be? Well, I don't know. I was going to figure it out from here. You're going to build it around that? Yeah. Those are cool. Kind of cool though. Huh? Yeah. Can you eat your burrito with it? I don't think they're that strong. Hmm. Can I try? Sure. While you eat your burrito? I don't care, I'm too tired. <laughs> Your mom could be watching this. Hi, mom! Thank you for birthing him. What? What? Burning what? Do you Do know we, every Mother's Day, you your mom you? tells me happy Mother's Day because I look after you. Make bomb. How 
was your day? Did you do this for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Today was supposed to be like uber productive day for me. Clearing out storage unit, taking it to the dump. Found this guy who's gonna sell me some shells that I was been looking for for years. It was all gonna line up. It was all gonna be perfect. <sighs> Woke up with a headache. Hmm, I'm sorry. So I had to go back to sleep after I took some meds to go make the headache go away. So I woke up later than I wanted to, but I woke up, no headache. All right, rock on, let's go. I get a call from a guy. Hey, can I need to borrow your prop thing, dummy. Okay, can I meet you at nine? Sure, nine rolls around. Not here, not coming. Sorry, I can't make it. Can't, what, what's a better time for it? Can you do it at 12? Oh man, fine. So we're gonna have a storage unit, do a little pre-work, come back up here. He's not showing up, not showing up, not showing up. Oh, by the way, I have to go meet the guy for the shelves at one. I'm like, hey man, I'm just gonna leave the thing outside. You can come get it whenever you want. I gotta be up in Salt Lake. Okay. Uh, and then freaking, I text the guy for Salt Lake. I'm like, hey, you okay? Were we still on for one? And he's like, oh, I'm not gonna make it. Can we do 3.30? Dad, gum it, fine. So I go, oh, oh, oh no, I'll, I'll call you when I'm, when I'm ready for you to come pick these up. Fine. So we're gonna storage unit again and try and just kind of manage stuff. I can't take a load of the dump because I have to take that truck up to go get the shelving. Finally, like 2.30 rolls around. I'm like, hey man, sorry, I don't mean to bother you. When do you want to do this? Oh, I'm on my way to the place now. Son of a bitch, why are you doing that? <sighs> so I rush, huh? I rush. Shannon needs the car, so I have to stop here. And then I go back up there. And of course, it's traffic from hell because everybody's going down south uh, to go see the freaking uh, solar eclipse tomorrow. So the roads are crazy. So I get up there. We load them up, it all goes good, fine, whatever. On our way back, usually what takes a 30 minute drive is now an hour and 10 because of the traffic. So we're crawling at 25 miles an hour or less down the highway, all the way home. Luckily, Shannon gets her stuff together, it's fine. I, and I said, okay, you're gonna take a nap? Yeah, okay, great. And I'm gonna go work on the storage unit. So I get the storage unit and, and sadly, I have to like unload the storage unit to get the stuff back in there and reorganize it. So I take all the front crap out and then and then Shemi needs me to do a rescue because she actually locked the keys in the car and I kind of lost it. And it was embarrassing. I'm glad Because no he only has that big truck for today and tomorrow. And that's it. And I and I gotta return probably tomorrow afternoon I gotta return it. It's the big moving truck that he uses for work, but since they're done with this film, they're gonna need it back. But he wanted to use it to clean out his storage unit and make tons of trips to the dump and stuff. So, so far I've made one trip. We yesterday. can do it tomorrow. At least we still have tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. morning. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I do. <sighs> so I come reach you, Shani. And then, by the way, the storage unit closes at 8. It's a stupid storage unit. I shouldn't be there. It's almost 7 right now. It's almost 7, so I'm like, F it. I'm just, I'm just done. I'm done. The universe does not want me to work on this today, so I will work on this today. Maybe it's proves my point that you just need to rest a little. My little workaholic. It's supposed to be your days off. But you just want to go and, and do all these projects. But I understand why. I also understand it's hard for you to, can you please not choke? Thank you. It's okay. Just what it is. First world problems, right? Yeah, no kidding. Just been a frustrating day, that's all. I know. But my doctor went well. Mm hmm I really love my doctor. So all we have to report for now. Oh my god, dude. I think we're just gonna go crash, both of us. Yep. Go to bed. Mm -hmm. How long do you have the check for tomorrow? Probably until the afternoon. Okay. Sorry. We'll see how it goes. Okay. <clears throat>
Anyway, that was our day and that's why I couldn't get the vlog up of the movie, but I'm working on it. It's a very long vlog, by the way, so. You guys are gonna love it. There's a lot of footage for me to go through. I literally spent at least four or five hours today already on it. And I'm almost, I'm like 75% done. So hopefully it will be up tomorrow. So thank you for being patient. I hope this was okay as a replacement for today. Why are you apologizing? And yeah, I mean, we don't really have a set schedule, but I did say that I would post today and I didn't. So, well, but now I have, so that's good. So enjoy this. <laughs> and uh, we will be doing the Q and A that we asked you for, for questions for Instagram and on our last video and on Instagram posts, but leave more in the comments below for us. You can ask us anything about our channel, our marriage, our mental, physical health, our jobs, our religion. Well, we don't really like to talk about that, but like just whatever you want to ask us, ask We're us. We're Mormon. We are Mormon, yes. Um, but whatever you want to ask us, just ask us and leave it in the comments below. That would be great. And I love you guys so much. We love you. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. I think it's the first time I think we, we are closed. Too. We are too. And we are too. I think this is the first time we've closed a video together since we changed our channel. Oh yeah. Usually I'm not here for this. Yeah, we don't have an intro or an outro. We don't need one. If any of you want to make us an <laughs> intro, go for it. And we'll just like switch it if I get them. No, they've done it in the past and it was so much fun. Do you guys remember that? Like back in the beginning sometime. I was like, if any of you want to make an intro. And so like probably a good dozen of you sent in you made an intro for us and it was really, really cool. So if any of you want to do that and send it to me, then maybe I'll put it in our video. So, cause right now we don't have one. So anyway, all right, we're going to go cry and go to sleep. We love you <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. It will be up tomorrow. I promise you for my movie debut and Danny's except it's not his debut cause he's done before or whatever. Can you stop talking? Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Mm.